welcome back to Mixology Monday. As you can tell, I'm kind of in a strange location. I'm on the road, so I thought I'd make uh, some simple cocktails for you, some simple ingredients you can easily make on the road if you don't have to purchase too many things. So, I'm gonna make two of them for you today. Um, and we're gonna get rolling with the first one is a not so French 75. Uh, basically, it's a, a sparkling wine. We'll have some gin and lemon juice, and normally you put it into a uh, you know a wine glass or a champagne flute. But I've got some cool uh, mason jars, so we're gonna modify that today. So we're gonna start out with uh, so we got an ounce and a half of gin right here. I've already pre-measured that. Pour that into our glass, and then we're gonna go ahead and add to that. Normally you put a lemon juice, a little simple syrup, so I've decided uh, we're going to go with a little Minute Maid lemonade. We can use any lemonade, so we're just going to do this. We're going to do two, uh, two shots of that, two ounces. Lemonade. Alright, and I've got some of this fancy uh, sparkling wine right here. You can use any sparkling wine, I just have to grab these little cans, easy to travel with. Pop that off. And then we're gonna put a little extra twist of uh, lemon in that. Give it a little stir here. Okay. And we'll twist it off with a lemon. Some people actually put a uh, sugar rim on that. You can you can finish it off with a sugar rim, real tasty. There we are. So not so French 75, hence the lemonade instead of fresh lemon juice. So that's well there. Cheers. Let's try that out. Oh yeah. yeah. So we're gonna just talk through this one. Uh, the second one was a simple sangria, meaning you can make it by the glass. You don't have to worry about uh, making a picture of it. And I'm again using a mason jar. Uh, and this is great with a sangria that you're making by the glass. You don't have to worry about you know a big wine glass and because it could be more you know shattered the glass is more sturdy or something easier to drink out of. Uh, the base for anything with it, you can use red or white. This particular one I'm using a simple. A sangria has got a red wine base. Normally, it's like Pinot Noir. Uh, really good wine to use on a, on a sangria. I have particular this one. I had Shiraz with me. It's a little more spicier, um, but it, it'll still come out good. I tasted it earlier. Really, it came out delicious. So that'll be our base, and then you can use brandy, um, cognac, which is a type of brandy. We're going to go ahead and use cognac, um, and then we use. I top that off, and I have. We'll put fruit in. I'll talk about that in a second, but. A Sprite will actually, the sugars of the Sprite will help engage that drink. You don't have to worry about putting simple syrup in it. And if you're making a pitcher, um, anything with sugar will help that sangria last a lot longer. So we'll start out, we'll put our muddled fruit. Um, I had muddled um, some grapes previously, put that in a in glass along with the juices and I take a half of an orange, half of a lemon and squeeze that off. I got my my uh, juicer here, and then that way you don't have to wait so long for the juices of the uh, fruit to come into the drink. And then once you get that fruit in there, top it with ice, get it a little stir, and then we'll um, put our, our cognac in it, half to three quarters ounce of cognac, along with the wine, and leave about a, uh, a half inch before you top your glass, and stir that up with the wine in it, and all your fruit, and then you're gonna to top it with the Sprite and then just give it a small stir with the Sprite in there. And you get, and it, that'll give you a really nice base for a simple sangria that you can make and enjoy quickly when you don't have to worry about letting it sit in a pitcher. Um, you know, if you just want making one or two for the day and not have to worry about making a whole pitcher sangria. So it's a really easy recipe. And again, like any other drink I always talk about, um, play around, mix it out in mixology, play around with different types of wine, different types of you know, even got brandy. If you have, don't don't go out of the way to buy an extra bottle of wine or brandy if you if you don't have one. Uh, go with the flow. So it's really it's a lot of fun, nice summertime drink. So I hope you enjoy and hope to see you soon. Uh, Wednesday we start back for dinner. Uh, very limited seating, but we do recommend or we do um, mandatory that you have to have a reservation. And just because we we're limited on seating and we're only capacity because we're still only on 31. But it'll be a nice, um, nice way to get back in, in the groove of things. And I do hope we can see you soon. And 
eventually we'll have that bar open back up and we can sit down at the bar and talk about some more drinks. But enjoy your, enjoy your week and we'll see you next weekend. I hope to see you guys, some of you guys uh, this week at the at the club. Cheers.